Do I have a biofilm infection from Juvederm Voluma? I had Voluma injected under my eyes three months ago. About a month after the initial injection, I woke up with my left under eye very swollen and tender. It took about 24 to 48 hours to go away. Then about a week later, the same thing happened to my right eye. Then two weeks later, I woke up to it happening again to my left eye, which lasted about a day or two. This morning, I woke up with both under eyes extremely puffy and really tender. It was way worse this morning than it has been. Please help. Thank you for your question. You stated in your question that you had uh, Juvederm Voluma placed under your eyes and that approximately um, about a month later, you, started, you developed a reaction where you had some swelling under your left eye. Then about a week later, you had some swelling under the right eye. There was some resolution. Then you had a recurrence. And now in the with the photos you submitted, you state that both under eye areas are uh, swollen and tender. And certainly the photos support that description. Well, I can certainly give you my perspective in, in, the, in, in answering your question, which is, do you have a biofilm? And uh, I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic reconstructive surgeon, practicing in Manhattan, Long Island for over 20 years. Injectable fillers is a very significant part of my practice, and I, I do use a lot of Juvederm and Voluma. So, I can certainly also address the issue um, of biofilm. Uh, in, 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 the, in, in our specialty, the concern of biofilm continuously becomes um, a, a, greater, a, a greater awareness because the challenge when you enter the skin, which is something, one of the things that I always have, a, uh, I have concerns about in the way people perceive injectables, People are very often, uh, people think of surgery as very invasive, but when they think of fillers, they think of it as non-invasive. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I treat the injectable fillers like I treat surgery. I do everything with, with, a, with a very high level of sterility, and we have a process and protocol. And in particular, I would say that um, certain fillers actually have an advantage over other fillers in the risk of potential um, biofilm. For the, for, just for clarification, biofilm is essentially the presence of some kind of a bacteria that essentially um, can, can lay on top of an implant. So it's something that's um, not a, that happens in breast augmentation or any kind of implant placement. And the use of an injectable filler, you can imagine that the filler can ha actually have bacteria travel with it or even bacteria can seed that filler from within. So it has been reported in situations where someone has had a dental procedure long after they had an injectable filler and their, their, the filler actually became inflamed. So I think that when, when, whether or not you have a biofilm is almost immaterial. Um, the details of your medical history and, the, and for more information is necessary in order to make a more accurate diagnosis. But whether this is a biofilm or whether this is like a delayed hypersensitivity reaction to the material, um, is almost um, unimportant because given the fact that you have swelling and tenderness, I would likely, uh, if, if, if someone like yourself comes to our practice, I would do something to treat inflammation, treat infection, and, and do something to dissolve the juvenile. Uh, one of the, that's one of the, the values of a material that is um, a hyaluronic acid filler is that it can actually be dissolved. And once it's dissolved, just to further clarify the concept of biofilm, one of the things that makes it difficult for biofilm to be treated is that like a breast implant, there is a capsule, there is a, there is a space where there is no direct blood supply. 
and that's where bacteria can stay and remain dormant for extremely long periods of time and then be triggered. Uh, in our practice, we've helped patients who have had uh, biofilm problems with uh, other injectable fillers, and um, we've been able to help them with uh, the use of platelet-rich plasma to help stimulate um, blood supply. And uh, however, these patients have needed um, extensive antibiotic treatment and required um, even uh, surgery to remove some of this implanted material. So this is one of the, again, adv advantages of a hyaluronic acid filler. If it is a, if that type of filler is dissolvable. So you need, I would recommend that you go back to the doctor who performed this procedure. Um, there could be a history where, which is not in your description, of sinus, uh, sinusitis, sinus infection, um, um, dental procedure within, w within the time frame of you having this experience. So, um, but in the end, it's, it, 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 it makes sense to do something to treat the possible causes and to be followed closely. This is something you don't want to just sit and wait on. You want to take care of this as soon as possible. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.